welcome to this week's vlog. So it's Monday evening and I went to school today. After class, I went to the library and edited my weekly vlog and uploaded it today. But of course, I forgot to bring headphones to school with me. I always have a, a pair of headphones in my backpack because I like to listen to music while I'm on the train. But of course, last week um, when I was at school, I guess I was in a rush going to class or something and I threw my headphones in my jacket pocket. Of course, it was really warm today so I didn't wear that jacket. Although it's not warm anymore, it's like raining and pouring and ugly outside. But anyways, that's besides the point. I didn't wear that jacket today, didn't have my headphones, but I really wanted to upload my video at school because the internet is a lot faster there. Like when I say a lot, I mean a lot faster. <laughs> So I like ran around downtown Toronto trying to find the cheapest pair of headphones that I could. I think I ran to like six different stores um, and then I just went to the mall and I went to the Sony store and just bought a pair. Um, these are them. I bought them for, well, these aren't the actual headphones. This is just packaging. Um, they were on sale, so I think they were like $14 or something. And now I have them in my backpack. I could find them. No. And they're actually good. They work better than my Apple headphones, like the ones that come with the iPhone. Um, the sound stays in your ear and it blocks out like other sound from outside. So they are actually pretty good. So I guess I don't mind that I bought headphones, but it was worth it to buy headphones um, to, to like get what I wanted to do done, like upload my video so that you guys can watch it on Monday because if I had to come home and do it, um, by the time it uploaded, it would be like late at night and I wanted you guys to enjoy it earlier in the day. So um, yeah, I got myself a new pair of headphones. <laughs> I'm always gonna keep those in my bag. Let's just take a moment to um, appreciate my face there. So this was in 2012, so long ago. I feel like I look so much younger and so does Alyssa in this video. But um, I was just watching this video, it gave me a good laugh and I just messaged Alyssa, she's watching it too. This video is so funny, like I don't even know. And I can't believe it's two years ago, well I guess a year and a half ago, but I remember this day like it was yesterday and it's kind of making me sad that it was filmed in my old bedroom, but. Um, I definitely want to do more challenges with my friends this summer because this one was super fun and it got a ton of views. I don't even know how that's possible. Um, and I just put a new comment on this video because I heard myself say in the video, I'm like, do people die doing this? And I was so serious about it. No, people do not die eating baby food. What was I thinking? I think I was just being funny, but. <laughs> this face though. Yep, focus on that face. Oh, the eyeshadow dough. Haven't heard this song in forever. So it's a beautiful day. Um, my first class was canceled today, but now I'm on my way to school later, so I got to sleep in, of course, which was awesome. My sunroof is open because it's such a sunny day. Sunglasses on. This jacket is a little bit too warm to be wearing in the car because like it's kind of hot in here, but outside it's kind of windy, so when I'm like walking outside, it'll be fine. Um, but anyways, yeah, I just have to go to school to submit an assignment, which is kind of lame, but whatever. I'm probably gonna hang out with some friends afterwards anyway, so it'll make the trip down there war worthwhile. But I just wanted to update y'all. So it's kind of late at night and, I, and my best friend went to sleep and I normally confide in her whenever I have like a dilemma or something on my mind, but she's sleeping, so I'm just gonna vlog about it. <laughs> um, Today was the last day of my class, or one of my classes, um, before exams start. And for this one class, um, normally the professor, like in university, normally the professor will like post um, like his notes that he teaches with, or she, um, so that like if you don't go to class, like you still have their notes. But with this particular class, um, nothing is posted. So it's like, if you don't go to class, then you just have to read the textbook because you have no notes to base yourself off of. Um, also in this class, there was like a large group assignment. So for the, like over the course of the semester in this class, I was placed in a group of people that I didn't know. For the midterm, some of the people in my 
in my group had asked me for some notes from class because like they had missed a class or something. So what I do is like for this whole course every week, I just um, add my notes to this one word document. I bring my laptop and I type them up. So all my notes for the entire course, because now it's the end of the semester, are all in one long document. It's like 30 pages or something ridiculous. <laughs> But that's just how I keep track of it, and I just keep it all in one document, so it's easy. It's 11.15. It's 11.15, says my laptop in front of me. So um, when these people had asked me for my notes before the midterm, because it's all in one document, that's what I had sent them. So pretty much I sent them my notes for the entire like semester up until that point at the midterm which was really nice of me and um, they actually turned to me like after the exam and like really thanked me for it because they said my notes really helped them because my notes are awesome. Um, <laughs> anyways, so now it's the final exam. They continuously didn't come to class every week, I noticed, because they're my group, so like they were never in class. And now it's the end of the semester and two of my group members asked me for my notes for the final exam. Now I'm put in a dilemma because one, I did send them my notes for the midterm, so it's kind of like, why can't I send, the t send them to them again? Um, two, they didn't come to class, so they're just using me. And three, I feel really bad to say no because it is exam time and like they're gonna be screwed and they're desperate for notes. Um, but at the same time, like they didn't even come to class, so like why didn't you make your own notes? And you can also just read the textbook and be perfectly fine. You made your own decision not to come to class. So I'm just put in this position because it's really hard for me to say no because like technically it doesn't take a lot out of me just to like send them that one document. Like it doesn't take a lot of effort for me to send them my notes and like I would be doing them a huge favor which like it's so hard for me not to help somebody who's in need. But at the same time, like, they don't really deserve my help because they didn't come to class and they didn't make an effort to do well in this class. So, like, they're just using me. So I'm put in this position because I don't really know what to do, but I think I'm just going to send them my notes, which, like, makes me look bad because, like, it kind of looks like they're using me. But at the same time, I just feel so bad. And, like, I'm, I'm always a person to, like, just do something nice anyways for people because I want good karma and I just feel really bad because I would want somebody to do it for me but at the same time I wouldn't put myself in this position because I would have gone to class and made my notes my own notes um or I would just read the textbook because it's the same thing just obviously condensed more so I just wanted to vent <laughs> that's what happened and I'm just gonna send them I'm talking to one of my friends in my class and he says that I shouldn't but I just feel bad. It's like really hard for me not to help people and to like be rude to them and be like, no, I'm not sending you my notes. Because this one person messaged me and like I read the message and didn't reply because like, who are you? Like, why are you asking me for my notes? Go away, you should have made your own. But they messaged me again because I didn't reply and I just feel really bad. And the, like it was two people that asked me. But like over the course of the semester, so many people have asked me for my notes. So like people are just, ugh, like come to class, make your own notes and like get an education for yourself. I don't understand people like this is ridiculous. So I just got home from my last class of first year university and now exams officially start. I have my first one on Monday and then I don't have one until the next following Monday and then I have four that week so at least I have most of next week off to um study but it's the week of my birthday so I don't know how much studying will get done I'm just joking I have to study anyways I'm in the mirror and I just wanted to show you guys my outfit it's really simple today but I thought I'd show you guys anyways today was really warm so I'm just wearing a really light jacket um this is from hmm where is this from it's really old I want to say like Oh, you know what? This is from Sirens. And it's really cute because it ties here. And then it kind of like puffs out like a dress. So even just wearing this jacket by itself makes it look like you're wearing a really cute outfit. Um, because you can't really tell what's underneath. Then underneath I'm wearing this long sleeved uh, light colored denim 
shirt with just a black um, t-shirt underneath which I probably could have done without but I didn't know how cold it was because in the morning it was colder but then um, in the afternoon it got really hot which I love because now it's officially spring. Then I'm wearing these black pants from Garage that I've been wearing a lot lately because they're super comfortable. And then I'm wearing my new favorite shoes that I showed um, in last week's vlog. These are from uh, Spring. And they're actually so comfortable and I love them because they have a little bit of a heel so they kind of give me some height but like when you wear them you can't tell that they have a heel because they're just so comfortable. Um, that's pretty much my outfit. I'm just wearing like the average jewelry. <laughs> and then I wanted to show you guys that I went to Michael Kors today because it was my last day of classes and I thought it was an excuse to buy myself my early birthday present because this is what I wanted to buy myself. Um, I posted a picture on Instagram of this and I hashtagged um, birthday present to me from me and some of you guys thought it was my birthday but my birthday is not till next week, April 16th. But I wanted to go ahead and show you guys what I bought. So this is what I bought. I think it's absolutely beautiful. I'm going to take it out and show you guys. Oh, I just fell off the cushion. You can see all the links in the bottom there because um, I got the girl to like size it on me. And I pretty much took out all the links. So this is what it looks like. I think it's so pretty. Let's get some better lighting here. The face is like so simple. Um, which I really love. It's pretty big, the face of it, and then the band is this chain. And it's a gold watch, my first gold watch. I'm pretty obsessed with watches, if you guys know me. Um, and I had my eye on this one for so long. So I'm really excited that I bought it. I'm going to wear it on my birthday. Um, I'm going to wear it when I celebrate for my birthday. And probably every day after that. <laughs> Because right now, I can show you the watch that I'm wearing. This one here, it's silver, and I wear this like pretty much every day. And I'm sure you guys know because um, when I show you guys my outfits, I'm usually wearing this watch. So if you compare the faces, you can tell that the gold one is like so much bigger. But now I have a gold watch and a silver watch, and I'm so excited. And I love the chains on this. I thought it was different. And I'm just so excited. I should be studying tonight, but I just want to film a video because I haven't in forever and I miss it and I just want to film a video. So um, I'm going to film a q and I wrote out the questions and then I want to answer because I asked um, you guys to send me questions like early long time ago on Instagram and I still had all the questions. So I went through them and I made a list on blue paper and I'm almost at 50,000 subscribers. So I was kind of doodling that and I'm really excited because that's like my dream. Um, yeah, I love you guys so much. So I'm going to film a video instead of studying because really what's, what's studying? What is that? What's that concept? Um, exams? What are those? So I straightened my hair today in like a record breaking three minutes. I'm on my way to work now. I have a shorter shift today, but then I have to start studying for exams because my first one is on Monday at 8 a.m. in the morning. Why is it so early? <laughs> but then after that one, I don't have one for another week, and then that week I have four. So that's what my exam schedule is like. At least I don't have an exam on my birthday. And yeah, I'll talk to you guys soon. Yes, I do have this much McDonald's in my car right now. <laughs> for me and all my coworkers. So I just finished work. I have a shorter shift today. Um, because I worked earlier in the week and I have to go home and study, but I, well, I feel better now, but after that McDonald's, I felt so sick. I ate way too many chicken nuggets because I watched, um, a video, it's a collab channel, SDK, which is, which stands for the Settle Down Kids, and, uh, Ryan's video, I don't know if you guys watched them, but, um, I'll link the video below. The video is hilarious, Ryan made a video. Um, I think it was a little while ago, maybe a couple months ago, I don't know. So today is Sunday, the next day after I filmed that clip yesterday in my car, um, but I ran out of memory on my camera and didn't get to finish saying what I was speaking about. So I thought I would continue this now. <laughs> um, so this is the video that I was talking about. Uh, this is Ryan and the video is called Too Much Coke. I'm going to link it below. 
And it's just a really funny story about his experience at McDonald's. So I showed my coworkers at work because we didn't have too much to do. The store wasn't busy yesterday. Um, so we were watching this video and everybody was laughing so hard. We showed it to like all my coworkers. We watched it like a couple times um, until everybody got to watch it. And then we were just craving McDonald's. So we went to Mc they sent me to McDonald's and that's why that <laughs> explains everything else that happened in yesterday's clips. Um, that's why I had so much McDonald's in my car and I felt so sick after eating 12 chicken nuggets. Um, never am I gonna do that again. I don't know how Tyler Oakley did the chicken nugget challenge where he, I think he, they were trying to eat like 60 chicken nuggets. That's ridiculous. Anyways, so update on today. I am studying for exams because I have my first one tomorrow. But before I continue studying, I need to clean my room. So do you guys want to help me clean? Here's a view from the door of my bedroom and we're going to clean it together, okay? Yep, um, this happened. My room exploded. Ta-da, all clean. Thanks for your help, guys. <laughs> Okay, it didn't take me that long. I think a majority of it was making my bed and putting all the clothes that used to be right here away in my closet. So everything is nice and clean and organized. And I just feel a lot better about that. So now everything's clean. I even dusted and vacuumed and vacuumed underneath my bed. Everything's clean. I should be studying, but I just wanna clean everything first. And then tonight I can go to sleep. Have a good sleep knowing that everything is clean. <laughs> now, moving on to my bathroom. It's not that messy, I guess. Like, it's kind of messy, but like, it's just the things on the counter and on the floor, so. You guys can help me clean this one too. All clean. Thanks for helping me, guys. No more hair on the floor. And the counter is sparkly again. I just wanted to show you guys the color on my nails in case you guys noticed and wanted to know. This is for Audrey by China Glaze. A cult favorite if you watch a lot of YouTube videos. It's the uh, Tiffany blue color that everybody raves about. And I wanted to show you guys this cute little um, curtain pullback thingamabob. It's like a magnet. And then you clip it around your curtains. I'm not a fan of these, but my mom made them for me and um, I'm just gonna keep them for now because I don't have blinds and I like to close the curtains when I take a shower at night. But anyways, now it's time to eat lunch and then steady now that everything is clean. <laughs> Oops, I forgot to finish this vlog. It's like 5.15 the next morning, Monday morning. And um, I'm awake going to write my first exam, so wish me good luck. And I apologize for forgetting to finish this vlog. Love you guys so much. Bye. So this is what I finished. Um, what it looks like I showed you guys earlier in the day that I was making this. Um, and I love the way it turned out.